morning everybody i got a double feature for you on a 2023 intech pursue and explore let's go coming at you with the 23 intech flyer pursue we've got the full outside kitchen with your 12 volt fridge two burner cooktop we've got storage up front we've got a little rack here and above we've also got a 12 volt power fan that has a remote for it as well. We've got cushions, places to sleep. I'm six foot two, I'm sitting in here and I've got at least a foot of headroom while I'm sitting down. You've still got a direct drop, 13K AC. So no problem on those hot days. It is gonna take the chill out or uh, it's gonna chill you off quite a bit at night easily. So as you just saw, we've got the barn doors in the back no ramp on this one but really easy if you need to use that for storage if you're putting anything in there super easy to load up we've got a roof rack as well now that is adjustable you can loosen these up slide it in either direction now obviously you can't go too far on the end but you can slide that as long as you're not getting in the way of that ac another thing you're going to notice that roof is silver reflective so that is going to help with your heat absorption We've got that nice gray exterior, so that is still gonna absorb a little bit of heat, but that roof is silver uh, for a reason. We've got the spare tire and the off-road tire package on this guy as well. Battery compartment is gonna be over here as well as the battery disconnect. And this is prepped for side solar. You've got a front storage box that opens up or whatever you need to put in there. You don't have to worry about putting a battery in. Now on this outside kitchen, this little metal piece mounts just over top of the fridge. So that's gonna go on these uh, circles here for storage and put them there. And then if you need the extra counter space, you've got it just like that. It's gonna be a little baby bottle for your propane and extra storage next to it as well. All right, let's pop over to the Flyer Explore. Similar options, we've got the roof rack, the awning, the roof AC, front storage box, full outside kitchen, exact same as that last one. But well, this guy is significantly taller. Now, if you're a taller person, you're still gonna have to stoop when you're in here. But a lot more versatility. We've got a big counter space in the front here, storage up above outlets, speakers, and this has a tip out. So this is gonna be just like on a hybrid travel trailer or a pop-up where this comes out, you put your bracing up at the top and you're good to go. Now you've got this thicker fabric. This can zip up. We've got it tucked underneath the bed right now, but that zips up when you've got that in. And that way, if you're using this area for an ATV, dirt bikes, Anything uh, anything that might be a little abrasive, you can do that in here. Don't have to worry about scratching anything on that canvas material. Now with that being said, I got a stoop, so hang on, let me switch around. We've got a ramp door on this guy, so no problem getting an ATV in here. Our dry weight's gonna be around 2,000 pounds with a pretty decent cargo carrying capacity. I wanna save about 800. I'll have to double check on that. We've got the off-road tires on this guy as well. And both of these units do have manual stabilizer jacks. So they're just cranked down arms like this. But for a little guy that's super lightweight, you wouldn't have any issue, uh, wouldn't have any issue with rocking using those arms. Now both of these, um, easily towable by most vehicles. You could probably tow these with minivans and not even have to bat an eye at it the flyer especially with that being so small i mean look at it just next to the explorer even smaller now it is a manual bag donning um but it is 
actually pretty long. You've got a lot of space. You can option it with a 270 degree awning that will cut around the front over that outside kitchen. But again, that's an option. We didn't always do that on all of ours. Not a whole lot to these guys, but they are fully aluminum cage frame and sidewall construction. So for this, it's an aluminum cage that gets built on top of the aluminum frame. And that actually is the base for everything. A lot of other companies, they build your walls um, before they build your roof. But on this one, your whole aluminum cage gets built first and everything gets built on top of that. And it is double welded aluminum. You've got insane structural integrity on these guys. But that helps with their weight too with that aluminum. So that's why they can tow them with about anything. But that is gonna do just about it on this double feature for you. We are out at Premier RV in Bluegrass, Iowa. And my name is Zach. If you've got any questions on these, give me a call, shoot me an email. Heck, I'll even give you my number, shoot me a text. But these are some awesome units. These are the first two that we've got that are not sold before they get here. Any other Intex we've had have been sold before they even show up. But I'm gonna end this one for, on that note for you guys. Like I said, if you've got any questions, let us know and have a great day.